all that down. Okay. I think we are good to go here. Let's just get ourselves... the stupid fucking vibration shit because if not it's gonna absolutely screw me up even more so let's move ourselves back to where we were move ourselves a little bit more this way there we go okay we go here we go all messages there we go okay 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 we are here we are live again Back on the ticket or on the YouTubes again tonight for another live. We're getting ourselves all set up here. Alrighty, let's get ourselves all set with the drinks and everything. I agree with you there, Hayden. I agree with you. But we'll be back on the 11th. So, all right, let's get our drink. So. Uh, no, well, they, they denied the initial appeal. They said that it was not, a, the appeal wasn't approved, so I had to send in a support ticket, and who knows how long that'll take, probably some time after I get my account back, but I'm hoping or whatever that, uh, that, uh, it'll be hopefully back and everything like that, so, you know, it'll be back, it'll be... Oh my goodness, man. I just can't seem to get everything going here. <laughs> anyway, um, our, the game will be starting again probably just after 7 as always here. The Leafs and the Devils. So we'll be just getting ourselves started here in just a second as long as the website and everything still works. Yeah, it looks like the Leafs are on the road against the Devils. So we got to go with the away feed. That going should be uh, TSN, I think, tonight. Sheldon Key, very good. All righty. So again, as always, we're back. There we go. How do what, Jacob? How do? I'm good. Life is good. You know what I mean? How do I like streaming on YouTube? I don't mind it. I just wish there were more... Again, because, you know, with more of a direct access, YouTube's more direct if you want to get directly in terms of, like, you know, being, like, people sending, you know, gifts and stuff like that. It's more direct with the stickers and the super chats and the memberships with the e-transferring. It's a lot easier on YouTube, but it doesn't have the pizzazz, you know? All right. Like I said, we will definitely be doing YouTube again more in the future. So, Sorry, I'm just trying to line this up so I can... There we go. <clears throat> oh, Got to do the TikTok thing and say, hey, we're live. Hey everybody, we're live on YouTube, yay! Come check us out, click the YouTube link uh, right on my profile here on TikTok or go through the link tree link, there's a YouTube logo you can click through there as well. Okay. We're live on YouTube, yay! There we go. Done and done. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. All right, so there we go. All right, there we go. We are good. We are good. All right, let's go ahead and close down that TikTok and bring up our YouTube again here. All right, so again, welcome everybody to the live stream as always here. We're getting ourselves all ready to go for the Leafs game.
once uh once we get a few more people um we will of course um we'll be talking about the updated news that i have to talk with everyone about we'll do that so yeah i gotta update these effects or something like that to make it so that i'm not so not so great eight millimeter no mm, no uh, beam dream Nah, I think we'll just keep it on normal, I guess, tonight. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, there's also a lot of other apps and stuff like that that are starting to pop up, you know, in the future, you know, where we might be gearing towards other than TikTok and YouTube. We'll see what happens. But Enjoying myself a bowl of rice before we get started with the game tonight. So yeah, I mean, for those who don't know, we're going to talk about it, I guess, right now, and as other people are coming in, um, I had a job interview yesterday, and um, it went really, really well, and I officially got the job offer as of this afternoon. So I am no longer jobless as of today. Well... Technically, it, it, I don't start for like a week or something like that, but uh, the wait is over. There will be, uh, again, a change going forward in terms of, um, you know, in terms of the schedule and stuff like that, of how we're going to be, um, you know, doing lives and stuff like that going forward. Uh, but yeah, I now have a job, so... I am, I'm going to be going back to work, and that is going to obviously limit my time here uh, doing these live streams. Uh, I'm still going to do them for sure. Um, obviously, with the playoffs and everything going forward, I'm going to try to still do as many as possible. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen. So. Oh, hi, Mutru. Hi, pretty girl. As always, guys, if you guys are going to, uh, if you guys enjoy these live streams here on YouTube along with TikTok, um, don't forget, click that like button. Don't be afraid to share, comment, maybe become a subscriber here on TikTok or on, sorry, on YouTube or follow us on uh, on TikTok, subscribe here on YouTube. Um, here on YouTube, obviously there's no gifts and stuff like that, but you can do super uh, super chats, super member, uh, super stickers and memberships. Or again, you can do the direct donation if you'd like to support us and have us do more and more of these going in the future. So. Yeah, you've got to be thinking that again, that the Leafs or whatever have to clean up the defense for sure. Hopefully they're not going to hang Wool out to dry again, you know? But what's going to help the Toronto Maple Leafs when they get to the playoffs is dialing up the efficiency and the consistency of their defense. That means decisions up right with their front management, positioning with their front, with their back pressure. Five band units are a lot of moving parts. The team still pulled up front among four lines. <clears throat> It'll be so nice to get back to TikTok, though, later on this week. So. But if you're everyone's on the same page and everyone's playing the same way, 
playing a tight defensive system. It doesn't matter who you're playing with or who you're playing against because you know what's going to happen. That has to be... This is another big game again for the Buds as they try to chase second place in the Atlantic. I know. Oh no, you fell down, Moose. That's terrible. Yeah. Like three points separate the Leafs and Florida. With a win here, they'd have the exact same amount of games left with Boston and Florida. And the Leafs would only be a point behind them. The Devils are still chasing a wild card spot. They're five points out. Practically, they're only six points out of third place in the Metro. So, you never know. I mean, you got to be thinking that can Matthews hit 70? He has such a great time here in uh, in New Jersey. He scores a lot here. Is that going to be enough to see him pick up 70 goals, you know, by the end of the season? Joseph Wool really needs to have a game here on the road against a team like New Jersey. Got to elevate the game. Definitely got to elevate it. But we'll see what happens. Again, the Leafs, with the win tonight, the Leafs will only be a point behind the Panthers for second in the Atlantic with a chance at maybe even getting home ice in the first round. We will see what happens. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, we will be back on TikTok starting on Thursday. Unfortunately, TikTok again did not reverse the appeal after denying it. And they haven't contacted me for my ticket, so we'll have to do the full wait. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. But. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mushu. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are ready for another live fan reaction, live commentary for your Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, as they're desperately trying to get themselves into the playoffs. Or, sorry, uh, into a better position uh, going into the playoffs. Again, with a win tonight, they'd only be a point behind Florida. We will wait and see and see how well they can do tonight. The Devils trying to get themselves into a playoff spot themselves. Five points out of the wild card, six points out of third in the Metro. With a with few games left for them, not much. they have to pretty much win out and get some help. But, again, meow, hi, Moosh. We got to be thinking that Austin Matthews is going to be the guy that everyone's going to be keeping an eye on. Again, the race to 70. One more goal, and he will be the first ever player in the 2000s and beyond to hit 66 goals or more. It's tied with Ovechkin right now for 65. It's going to be unbelievable if he achieves it. So. I'm just giving you pets. Well, you don't love me no more? You're just being a little booger butt? Yeah, you're a pretty girl, though. So, again, we're just waiting for the puck drop. And again, don't be afraid to click that like button. Pretty sure I'm just going to call, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to call you Matthew still. Because <laughs> I will forget. He's only the 13th player in NHL history to hit 65. Just bonkers. Like that. Finish my food. Just in time for the game to start. Buck drop, and we're underway.
Buck inside the devil zone here. Let's go, boys and gals. Let's go. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your night. So, Zypho? Okay, I'll die, but I might still say Matthews every once in a while. All right. Buck inside of the leash zone here. <clears throat> Joseph Bull in net tonight again for our buds. Hopefully again we will see... Uh, hopefully we'll see a much better uh, performance out of him. And again, this will be our last live stream on YouTube, going back to TikTok again. Um, you know, starting on Thursday, we might definitely keep doing YouTube in the future. Um, but we'll see what happens again. So, Austin, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, well, I got the job. So I have a job now. I will be starting sometime next week. So, live is going to change pretty quickly here. We'll be doing a few more lives on the regular like we're normally doing, but after that, our lives will be a little bit chaotic, but, you know, appreciate that. Again, we'll be back on YouTube, on TikTok again for Thursday or Friday's game. Again, the Knights also, I think, are starting their second round um, pretty soon as well. I'll have to double check and see exactly um, what they are going to be doing, so... Again, if you guys are wanting to watch the game tonight, it's available on your local TSN channel, ESPN Plus, or available again on our, on numerous websites, including Bus Sports, Bus Streams, Stream East, or on Hockey.tv. Thank you, Jets Army. All right, so let's see where the Knights. Yeah, the Devils are just having to deal with such a terrible break, you know. Oh, wow. They, is this, oh, game six is tonight. Okay, so we still don't know who the Knights are playing on when their schedule starts. Here's a chance for the Devils coming in with a shot and out of play. No worries, Austin. You do you, my man. Big save there. Looks like Wool got a piece of it with the blocker hand. Yep. Big save there. Puck went out of play. Again, hopefully you're all having a fantastic night no matter where you are. Yeah. We really need to have a good game. And we really, really need to have Joseph Wool probably play one of his best games ever tonight. Because this is one of those games that, again, just like last game against Pittsburgh, this game is, has unbelievable playoff implications and makes the playoffs, you know. I did there, Raz. Uh, I, I did. I did. I got your message. Again, um, if you guys are... Um, I said, we should be back, you know. <laughs> I hear it. It's hard not to cheer for a team when everyone's in the house is cheering for it. But, you know, som sometimes it's okay being the black sheep. So. Oscar! Yeah, I've been, on, I've been on YouTube for for a lot longer, obviously, than um, TikTok. Um, but, uh, unfortunately, being suspended from uh, TikTok until the 11th. I am here. I was here yesterday, and for the rest of the rest of the WrestleMania and stuff like that, and now tonight. So we'll be going back though to TikTok for Thursday. But. You know, the big, the big thing is again. You know, unfortunately, with I, I appealed the suspension. They. Denied it, so now I had to put in a ticket in asking how the hell I was gambling during a live stream when I was literally just watching television, so I have no idea. Um, as always, guys, if you guys are enjoying these live streams, again, we'll be back again on TikTok, but if you guys are enjoying it here on YouTube, don't be afraid to click that subscribe button. You can also do super chats, super gifts, or uh, super stickers, 
memberships here on YouTube or again the direct donation at Parkinson underscore Alex at hotmail.com. Uh, again, we will be changing up the schedule because I have a job now and that starts sometime next week. So um, I don't know how my uh, live schedule is going to be going forward. We will see what happens. Leafs trying to throw the puck in front. There's Domi. Wasn't able to tap it home there. He shoots the puck. There's a, oh, an elite player down in front. He knocked down. Matthews, Bertuzzi was the one that was knocked down. No, they just suspended my live because apparently watching WrestleMania 40 meant that I was gambling. So, I tried to appeal the, uh, the suspension, but they denied it. They said apparently I was gambling. Or obviously I wasn't. And yeah, so I sent. The, I did a. I did a support ticket or whatever to try to get someone to talk to me. We'll see what happens. So you know, I mean, that's the thing. It's like I'm really. I'm. I will be back obviously on Thursday when the suspension is lifted. But you know. Leafs again have a uh, quite a busy schedule coming up. You know, again, with the last few games of the season. Again, they, I don't, I think, I think they play, yeah, they play the Devils again on Thursday. We'll be back on TikTok for that. And then we're back on Saturday for the Detroit game. And nothing on Sunday. And that will be it for... I think the season, pretty much. Well, I think there might be only one or two games after that. So, Puck being sent down into the Leafs zone here. Devils don't have exactly a great record at home. 17, 19, and 3. So, Hopefully the Leafs can take advantage again, having a pretty good road record this season. Hopefully that will continue. Oh, that was a weird play there. Leafs almost get caught with uh, getting caught on a bad change there. Now they're going to move the puck into the zone. No, I hear you, Austin. You can just go. You don't have. To. Don't worry, dude. I may not reply to everything. Oh, Nylander just fell. Just lost his footing there. Two shots so far in this game, and they both belong to the Devils. Over five minutes through. Leafs need to get some sort of shot here, but the puck just keeps getting stuck in the neutral zone for them. They're not really able to do much of anything. Oh, I agree. WrestleMania was fantastic. I mean, it it literally could not have been, you know, any better than what it was. Like, the ending and everything, it was literally perfect. I could not have scripted a better show, you know? Caught there by Wool as the puck was shot into the leaf zone. Easy catch. Hey, Ben. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome in again, everybody. Again, we have a big news update here on the YouTube, TikTok, land, you know, here on our channels. Uh, I have a job as of today. So our schedule starting next week will be a little different. But um, I'll be giving them more details as I get it. So I'm back to full-time working, hopefully, again, starting next week. I still hope to be able to come back and do a few lives, obviously, uh, whenever I can. You know, again, with the playoffs and stuff like that, I'm going to want to do that. So I'm going to try, you know. Hi, Mojo. Just gotta, just gotta convince the wife, <laughs> you know, and be like, I'm still doing lies every once in a while. So, Leafs keep the puck inside of the zone here. Matthew Nye cycling it, 
Trying to get it towards the net. Back to the point now. Getting over to Riley. Riley with a shot. Saved there by Allen. And the puck is cleared. Oh, hi, Bibbers. Why are you meowing and then mad that I pet you? You're weird. I believe I believe they would be officially eliminated if they lose this game, yes. Again, it's also a big game for the Leafs because if they win, they would be back to uh, tied up in terms of game totals left uh, with Boston and uh, Florida, and they'd only be a point behind Florida for second. They would also only be a point, um, I think, five points behind Boston, or six points, sorry, behind Boston for first. So there is definitely a chance that the Leafs, um, you know, could make a run to the top of the division, but they would need a lot of help, obviously, from both Boston and Florida losing their games. But they do have some games where they could win. They could, they could win both of these games against the Devils. Oh, damn. At least you'll be able to keep an eye on it, though. We can definitely beat Detroit. I feel like all these teams are games that we can win. And it's like, I just, you look at Florida's schedule and, you know, with their schedule going forward, I mean, they have some games where they should be able to easily win a lot easier than the Leafs, though. Again, the, Florida has Ottawa, Columbus, Buffalo, uh, and then Toronto as their final four games. So, you know. Hi, Yahoo. Good to see you again. Again, you know. The Leafs don't have an easy way to get to that second place position. They have to get lucky and have Florida collapse if they want to overtake them in the last four games after tonight. But again, they got to win tonight. They have to win this game specifically to only be, you know. You know. Yes, on YouTube. All right. And there we go, back to. Here's a chance for the Leafs coming back in with a shot. Block. Just a cashier job. Just a full-time cashier job. Easy peasy pumpkin sweezy. At least I hope it is. Yeah. I'm sure there's more to it than just being a cashier, but I'll get more information, you know, when I do my training and everything next week, so. Here's a chance for Nylander with a little dangle. Great move by Nylander. Shoot at Nylander. Oh, and he's just cycling the puck around. Back to Riley. Riley with a shot. Save. Rebound. Score! Nikki Robertson! Nikki Bobby with a goal! And the buzz! Strike first! Nicky Bobby getting the goal to open up the game here in New Jersey. It, it kind of looked like, I'm surprised that um, it took that long, but a great play, great work there by Nylander, cycling the puck around and great moves there. And then there's a quick little shot, Allen couldn't see it. Great to see a great goal again by Nikki uh, Nikki Bobby. Always great to see that. Awesome. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, basketball fan. Hello again, Torch Bird. Hello, everybody coming in again from TikTok. Welcome again here again. We are live here on YouTube until the suspension on TikTok is over. Thank you guys again for being a part of it. And hopefully we, will, we should be back again, back to normal again uh, for Thursday's game when they play the Devils again. Here's a chance again for the Leafs. Cycling the puck. There's Giordano with a shot. And he almost beat Allen on the blocker side. Oh, I agree. I agree. I never liked the idea of getting rid of Robertson. It didn't make any sense. Uh, well, I already have a YouTube channel, so I thought it'd be easier to do that. I was thinking about maybe going to Twitch or something like that, but, um, you know, YouTube, again, has been my home for so long. Here's a chance now for Matthews looking for 66 tonight. Probably you can sneak $20 in your pocket. <laughs> what? 
I would have loved to have gone to the home opener for the Jays. That would have been a lot of fun. I know, I think Jesse is actually at the game tonight. So, I think she was doing a live there or, like, taking videos and stuff like that there. So, hopefully she has a good time. You know. But yeah, YouTube, I've always been on YouTube. I've been on YouTube or whatever since, like, my late teenage years. So, early 20s. Sometimes or whatever this channel has been, we're just in a commercial break. Um, you know, like I've had this channel for so long, you know, and I well, hope you post them on that TikToks, man. Hope you post them on TikTok. Wool is in net tonight. Yes, he's looked pretty good so far. Again, the Leafs with a win tonight would put themselves only a point behind the Panthers. Oh, we got hockey Yahoo with a thumbs up sticker. Thank you so much. Let's get Hockey Yahoo on the board again. As always, guys, you can do stickers or Super Chats. Or you can become a member here on TikTok or on YouTube, sorry. Or, again, if you want to directly donate to me, you can do so. Easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy with the e-transfer option, which is Parkinson underscore Alex at Hotmail.com. Again, all of that is not required, but as always, greatly appreciated, just like your gifts and your stuff on TikTok. Thank you again for coming in again, joining us again tonight. No, no, I'm going back to TikTok for sure. Um, you know, the only reason I'm on YouTube now is, again, because of the stupid suspension. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. And I'm really hoping or whatever, again, I wish I could talk to a person or something like that in TikTok and be like, look, like, I want, like, an apology because like there was no instance of me gambling and I still lost the appeal but I know that's not gonna happen you know but either way like I said I will be back again on TikTok and again we'll be using YouTube as well going forward for certain things um, but we'll still be uploading all of my video game stuff obviously here on YouTube so just a cashier job. Just a cashier job. But it's full time, so I am good with that. All right. Are you kidding me right now? Why can't I? Can I seriously not unmute this thing? There we go. All right, so I'm at 9.45 right now, so I don't know if that one, you know. Oh, sorry, bud. There you go, little dude. Go for it. Yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it's a cushy little cashier's job and everything like that, and I think that, you know, it shouldn't be any issue, but yeah. Here's a chance for Nico. He's just coming in. And you just dumped all your blocks all over. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, there'll be more details and stuff going forward, but I can definitely tell this job looks a little bit more cushier than my last one, I hope. But obviously, or whatever, I don't know all the details of just... Because I know there's other things that cashiers are going to do, so we'll see what happens. Oh, Hockey Yahoo! With their fifth super! My goodness, thank you so much! Yeah, I agree. That's and again, that's why I'm. That's why I have the e-transfer thing. So if you want to donate directly to me, you can just do it through that way. And again, it goes right to me. There's no middleman, you know. And again, you know, that way or whatever, you know, you can see exactly where the money is going directly to me again without the middleman or any chance of them taking anything. No worries, Austin. Welcome back. So. Lee's trying to bring the puck in. Here's Marner with a dangle with a pass. Or trying to shoot it through, but he couldn't get it past uh, the uh, defenseman of the je of the Devils there. Getting it back to the point. Lee's trying to keep it in, and they do, but barely. Marner trying to push the puck in behind the net. Here's Bobby McMahon trying to come out in front, but he gets it back to the point instead. There's a pass over to Marner. Marner with a slop a shot, and it gets blocked. I think that's like a, let's see, uh, that's another super again there for um, Hockey Yahoo. I think that's what your second one. Uh, Nikki Bobby actually get him going. Nikki Robinson. So I think that's your second one of the day. I think. 
Oh, those are the worst. Those are the worst people. Let's see, we got one super. Yeah, two supers tonight. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, God. Those people are the worst. Nikki Robertson with the goal here for the Buds. They lead one to nothing. 7.57 to go here in the first period. We're in another commercial break. Easton. Okay, I will try to remember that. I will try to remember that there. Easton. Yeah. Robertson with the goal for the Buds. Oh, my God. Why is every single stream skipping tonight? Oh my god, I might have to just, I'm gonna try a different website because the fact that I keep getting issues or whatever with this you know And it's not and I don't have anything else running, so it's like I don't know again this is why this is why again I really need a new computer. So that must have sucked. No worries there, often like I said, family comes first, my dude. Have a good one. Gavin, careful, bud. Uh, Let's see. Here. I hope that's the uh, that's the American channel. Absolutely. Uh, commercial, man. Oh man, maybe I will have to stick with OnHockey.tv because some of these other websites are just terrible. Oh, you know what? Let's do Buff Stream. Let's do Buff Stream. We'll get that. All right. So yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, I'm I'm really excited again to get back to you know TikTok or whatever for Thursday and stuff like that. But you know, I mean, like I said, YouTube is really great again for the direct stuff. So you know what? No, I'm just going to go back to onhockey.tv because these ones are just really, really bad, you know. Like, they're all, they're all, they all, they always prioritize the American ones, um, but onhockey.tv has, again, options right away for, um, you know, for the Canadian ones, you know, if you want to go through, like, the away, you know, stuff. Alright, so 7.20 to go here, still one to nothing for the Leafs. I think the I think the Raptors, the Jays, and the Leafs are all playing tonight. So, big save there by Wool with 7:09 to go here in the first. So, again, thank you guys so much for being here. Hopefully, you're all having a fantastic night. Don't forget to put your predictions in. I have the Leafs again winning this one four to three. Oh my God, this live is so. And I'm like, I'm looking to see if there's anything else running in the background to be like slowing down my computer. But nope, it's literally just the stream itself. So, uh, oh well. Not a big deal. Either way, thank you guys for being here. No, you know, no, now, now it's becoming a problem. Now it's literally like skipping like every few seconds. Alright. So we'll be behind again, but that's alright. Well, that's like really far behind. Oh my god. See, that's at 725. There we go. Oh, can I, like, not zoom out of this one? No, I can't. Why is it full screen? Like, this this whole web this whole web page is literally, like, zoomed into the max. Oh, well. There we go. That's better. All right. So, again, the Leafs leading here with about six minutes to go in the first period. Holding on again. Thank you again. 
to uh, Hockey Yahoo, Mr. Easton. Here's a chance now for the Leafs bringing the puck in. There's Max Domi trying to get into the corner. Cycling the puck around. Gives the Devils reclaim the puck here behind their own net. Come on, boys. Let's go. Get a hold of the puck. Oh, no. Don't let him get through. Shit. Scores. I knew that was coming right when he got by. God damn it. Nico Heischer. Damn it. Bad defensive play by the Leafs. Cost them again. 1-1 one one with 5.35 to go in the first period. Very disappointing. You know, I'm really excited or whatever for this new job. You know, obviously I'm nervous again. You know. Right, so it'll be nice to get back to TikTok though again, so. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm still going to try to go as live as much as possible because my hours are ridiculously good for lives, to do lives, you know, so. Like, I couldn't picture a better job in terms of hours. So, uh, Josh, I'm back on TikTok on April the 11th. So not, technically it's tomorrow, April the 10th, but it's not until like 10.30 at night. So, <laughs> again, it's stupid. Um, because I'm saying the 11th, so the Thursday game. Um, I mean, the hours are perfect. They're like 10 to 6, you know, every day, Monday through Sunday. And except for Friday, where it goes till seven. Um, but you know, what's the matter? What's the matter? You have to wait, bud. Okay, I know what you want. The you know, I do, I do live in London. Uh, like I said. Hey, Grim Reaper, good to see you. Good to see you again. Um, you know, again, you know, the hours are great. 10 to 6, you know, Monday through Sunday, except for Fridays, which are until 7. Um, you know, it, it, seem, it seems like a good place to work, good people. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for it. And um, uh, I, what's really great is that the hours make it so that I can take my son to school when he starts school in September in the morning and then go to work um you know yeah exactly well, that'll be great um it'll also be great because again being at six and done at six i will be able to get home you know for like 6 15 or 6 20 you know and the games aren't on until seven so uh yeah i live in london so yes yes home of the london knights Oh, I'm there. I'm coming. What's up? What? What? I don't know why you put that tablet away and you want the other one, which is the broken one. You're a dork, Gavin. You're a dork. So, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. And, you know, again, you know, it, 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 again, it, from what I've seen, it looks great. You know, it's a really cool store, and I'm really excited. Ah, Sudbury. I did. I did. I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, I'm still nervous, obviously, again, you know. I'm just hoping again, I, I know it says cashier and stuff like that, so I'm just like, I'm really hoping that again, that, you know, um, it's uh, a good job and everything and everything goes well, so. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not too, you know, 
I'm hoping it's a, I'm hoping it's, you know, you know, still like a professional job and everything, but I hope there's still a little laid backness or whatever with some of the people. And, and from what I've seen and stuff like that from the people who interview me, they're very chill and they're very nice. And obviously whatever, I'm, do, I'm going to do a good job and work hard and stuff like that. But, you know, it, from, you know, talking with them, I mean, like I said, it's nice to have some interest, you know, work my last job or whatever. Like nobody wanted to talk sports like on the regular and that drove me nuts. I, like I'm a nerd in certain aspects, but everybody else at that store was so much nerdier than I was. So it's nice having to get a job where I might have some people I can talk to sports about. So you know. Leads with the power play here. Let's see if we can add a two to one lead before the intermission. Marner with a shot blocked. Well, that sucked. They knocked it down the ice. <laughs> but yeah. I am very excited, though, to be back on TikTok for Thursday. And, um, you know, again, hopefully we'll keep growing YouTube. You know, again, we almost got 2,000 followers or 2,000 subscribers here on TikTok now. As that number slowly starting to creep up, thanks to everyone coming from TikTok. You know, so. Yeah. I mean, that it, it seems to be the perfect job so far in terms of everything, so. Should you grow a mustache to the end of the season? No. No. Um, I would say if you're gonna if you're gonna grow something out like this, you grow it you start growing it out in the final month. When your team is going to be a playoff team, if you think they are. Like if they're a team that's gonna not make the playoffs, don't grow it out. Like I have to shave this and cut my hair before my new job because I wanna look a little more presentable. You know, so I was gonna try to keep the full beard or whatever for the playoffs, depending on how long I was out of work, but Seventeen seconds left to go here in the power play at least. Moving the puck around. Damn it. In front, get somebody in front. Oh, you gave it away. And the puck goes down the ice. <clears throat> power play over. At least we're able to get a couple shots, but nothing. Unfortunately, I can't. My wife hates it when I just have a mustache, so I don't do it. One of these days I will. <laughs> no worries, Private Eye. Welcome on in again. Again, for those who missed it, the big announcement again coming after, uh, coming here today is the job interview that I had yesterday has turned into a job offer, which I have accepted and will be starting work starting next week. So, again, it would be just a nice little cashier job. 40 hours a week, again, you know, full-time, hours are great, everything seems to be good. You know. Oh, and the Leafs draw a penalty here! And with 50 seconds to go, the Devils are going to touch the puck, and there is a penalty! Thank you guys, appreciate that so much. Again, we will, uh, the lives will continue. All gifts you a universe if you show your wife. <laughs> Unfortunately, or whatever, I've tried, but the wife or whatever is adamant that she's not a camera person, which is fine, you know. Unfortunately, that I can't do. But I was going to say, if you want to gift the universe, it'll be easier if, you, if you're going to spend that kind of money. You might as well just e-trans for a cheaper amount, save you some money. Again, challenges or things or whatever that you guys want me to do is still on the table. So if you e-transfer a certain amount or you gift a big gift or whatever during a live stream on TikTok or you do a big sticker here or a super chat here on 
YouTube for a big amount. Again, we'll do some stuff. So, again, hopefully, now that I have the job, I'm going to have to rush doing the charity thing because I still have to do the video of us going to donate the money. So, again, if you guys still want to donate to the Humane Society, you can still do that. Uh, with the e-transfer option, again, Parkinson underscore Alex at Hotmail.com. So. Again, thanks to our uh, myself, Ace of Spades, a couple more people chose to e-transfer, donate, and uh, gifts on the live stream from TikTok. We got about $150 so far. And again, we're going to deliver that, again, hopefully in the next uh, few days or weeks. So... Oh, you get your GST in the mail? That's weird. You don't do it through. Uh, you don't do it through direct deposit. That's crazy. I didn't know they still did that. <laughs> Bar got hit by a bat. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that happen once or twice at a game. Um, as always, guys. Again, um, the challenge. Um, the. Uh, the option again is now available again if you guys are looking again if you do want to send things for unboxing videos and things like that uh, you can still do that again through amazon or again with every single um with every single um forty dollar uh super chat or forty dollar sticker or whatever or e-transfer we are going to be buying a new hockey jersey through dh gate and you got anyone who chooses to donate Using that option, we'll be able to pick the team. I will pick the person on the back and the type of jersey because, again, there are some really, really ugly jerseys, and I really would like a good one. So it also means that if you choose to do that, again, I will also do one specific challenge dedicated directly to you. <laughs> oh, really? Ah, oh, that's crazy. That or they probably just said, oh, we'll just ship it or whatever to the person who bought it instead of the location. That's sorry. Hey, no worries, Private Eye. You can just ship it with everything else. Or just keep it for yourself. You know, go around and find someone who looks like Bob Barker and try to punch him out. The price is wrong, bitch! Boom! <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, like I said... The $40, because uh, like I said, if you go on to dhgate.com right now, it takes about five weeks for delivery. You can get a jersey like this one or another one that you're interested in. And again, you can get one with shipping and handling, but anywhere between $40 to $60 on the regular now. So check it out. So I'm pretty much going to start buying a jersey every month now, I think, if I can. So. No worries, Private Eye, just, uh, excuse me, just like I said, just keep me updated of your progress, my man. I have no idea. I have no idea. I do not watch basketball on the regular. I couldn't tell you things that are going on. All I know is that the Raptors should keep losing and get a, and hopefully get lucky in the draft lottery and get the number one pick. That would be fantastic. Oh, the Young Gun series, very nice. Still in a commercial break here. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm I'm hoping I'll, again. This is a big game for both teams. If the Devils lose tonight, they will pretty much be eliminated from playoff contention. If the Leafs win, uh, they will only be a point behind Florida for second place in the Atlantic, with a chance to jump ahead of them. Even though, again, Florida has an easier chance. So. Yeah, Florida is, oh, Florida's playing tonight. I thought they weren't playing tonight. Well, that's going to be an easy win for Florida, so I take that back. So, the Leafs might be able to keep themselves within three points, because uh, I doubt Florida's going to lose this game tonight. So, so if they win... If they would win, they'd have 101. Florida has a hundred and... I thought Florida didn't play tonight. That's really weird. So, 
Again. Oh, I forgot to write that we're in the intermission here. So. Well, that's the thing. Luckily, my, the store or whatever doesn't... Uh, the store doesn't um, do any. Is closed at six. So as long as as long as I'm able to leave no later than six thirty, you know I, I'm home. You know easily enough in time. So. Well, he's not. He'd have to be drafted by the Raptors because he's he's quite he's, he's going into the draft. So. So yeah, he's not gonna go to the Raps unless he gets drafted to the Raps. Because okay, he still has entered the port the college transfer portal, so we'll see what happens here. But either way, like I said, we're in the intermission. Leafs and the Devils tied at one. Well, at least I think we'll still have a power play when they come back from uh back in the intermission. Oh yeah. Oh Manoa. Oh Manoa. I don't know. Again, Manoa is just... He's not exactly a guy or whatever that I... I want him to be good, obviously, again. I just don't know if he has it anymore, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, I can click on somebody. I can remove them. You know. I can put user in a timeout. I can add them as a moderator. Uh, hide. Uh, hi, I can hide the user from the channel. So things like that. I can also pin messages and stuff like that as well. So, so. again, YouTube does make it a little bit easier for things like that. Again, for more control than TikTok. And again, do the TikTok. You know. Again. The only, again, I, I just wish or whatever, you know, we had, have YouTube still had, like, something similar to the For You page, like TikTok does, where you can scroll through and things that you're interested in, you'll get random lives and stuff like that, too. I know you technically can, because I can scroll right now on my, um, while doing my live and stuff like that, and it has all kinds of different people on live right now, so, you know. Unfortunately, or whatever, again, you, you, there's no, there's no, like, for you or for your thing. You have to go through your subscriptions or something like that. So, either way, uh, thank you guys again. Hopefully, you all having a great night. Again, you know, it's uh, the Leafs and the Devils here. Rounding up. Uh, we have another game against the Devils coming up in the next uh, two days. Again, they play on Thursday. Then the Leafs play on Saturday. That will be game, let's see, tonight is game 78, tomorrow, the uh, tonight's game 78, the game on Thursday, it's game 79, 81 is, or 80 is Saturday, so. Yeah, like I said, I, I will be back on TikTok starting on Thursday, so that, we will be back there doing that, like I said, we'll just be doing this or whatever until, until that happens, so. So this is again game number seventy-eight. They have game seventy-nine. Then they have the rain. They have the um, what do you call it? Uh, they have the Red Wings on Saturday night. Then they have Tuesday and a, they have actually have a back-to-back -back Tuesday and Wednesday uh, against the Panthers. So, um, like I said, those will be the, those two games I might miss because that's when I'll be starting my work. So. You know, it's, we'll see what happens, obviously, because, you know, I'm really hoping, again, that this job goes well, and hopefully, or whatever, there's no issues, you know, I really want, again, I, I think I got, I got to make this job work, you know, like, it's, it's got the exact hours that I need and everything like that, and, you know, again, with the minimum wage increase and stuff like that in Ontario, you know, it's a little bit easier in terms of, you know, getting things better, so. <sighs> yeah, 
gas. I mean, right now it's you know the minimum wage will go up in October, so it's still sixteen fifty five now, but it goes up to seventeen twenty in October of this year. So. Hopefully, hopefully it'll keep going up, and hopefully things will stop being so expensive, you know? But again, we still got to be hoping or whatever to win that, win the lottery sooner, you know? Because like I said, I can't, I can't, I cannot guarantee on somebody random coming into these lives and being like, here's $1,000 for you, here's $1,000 next week, $1,000 that week, so... But again, if you guys are looking for the game, the game is available again on TSN. Also available again on the ESPN channels as well in the States. Also available on your local, uh, I'm sorry, on your um, on your computer. Buff Sports, Buff Streams, Stream East on Hockey.tv. All of that there as well. So. I mean, we got. I'm allowed to see Austin Matthews pick up his 70, uh, 66 goal tonight. Again, with that, he would be the only player with 66 goals or higher in the 2000s era and up. So, so I don't know if he'll hit 70. He would have to have a really great game. So. <laughs> Feel like I feel like if he gets seventy goals, he's definitely going to get a chance to win some numerous awards, not just the rocket, though, for sure. You know, it's still weird seeing Carlo Coliacomo on these broadcasts and just seeing former Leafs and stuff like that being broadcasters now or analysts. Has Samsonov proven he will deliver? I think you got to be convinced. I think you got to be convinced right now with Samsonov. You know, he's been so good since his return. A goals against average under 2.5 in his last 20 starts. You know, like his over like 25 or 24 starts or something like that. He's like 18, like 3 and 1 or something like that. Like his 22 starts. He's been... He's been good. I mean, he's he still have, he still have had a few bad games, you know. But I definitely think that it's something or whatever you gotta be thinking that he can deliver. He delivered last year, getting us in the second round. And if he keeps playing as good as he is, I think it's possible. Yeah, again, it all depends on the playoffs, obviously. But I, I think or whatever that you've gotta be willing to give him the chance at you know going for it, you know, and getting the wins and stuff like that, you know, and being the guy who can make those key saves. And it felt like he has. He's definitely done some amazing saves throughout his return. I don't think he's still the best one, obviously. Again, that's going to be hard to beat, you know. Hey, Flames fan. Good to see you. We got a Springer and Dinger. Nice. Go Jays. Okay, well, you want to talk about different? How about this? Let's take a look at his video because I asked, what's the difference between Coach Spencer Carter is more definitive statement 
on officiating after a weekend loss to Carolina. Was it throwing his tablet on the ice from the bench? Or was it this? Throwing his gum off the ice? <laughs> well, hey, I ain't throwing the tablet, for sure. <laughs> throwing tablet because I'm always mesmerized by stuff we don't see very often. And throwing a tablet on the ice is something I've never seen before. Ah, uh, Nikki Bobby. Nikki and Nikki Robertson got the goal for the Leafs. So. Throwing gum because it's the ultimate tribute to Pat Quinn. How many times, Coco, did we see Pat behind the bed? He went through a Pat. Did you watch? Yeah. Did you see Pat Quinn? Yeah. He's still on the bench on the ice. He was throwing everywhere. It's a great tribute to Pat Quinn. Not true. His gum, they lose two. If Vlad keeps hitting home runs, for I think or whatever, that he can be everyone's daddy. But I doubt he will be this season. Something that we can all see. Everybody saw the tablet landing on the ice. I hope so. I really do. I know a lot of people are like, oh, let's even get 70. But I mean, like I said, if he hits 66 goals, he will be the greatest goal scorer in the last 25 years. Like in a season, anyway. Yeah, it's crazy at how good Matthews has been. Like I, I want him to do it. I really want him. I would like for him to get 70 for sure. I think everybody would have a relief fan. But I, I think 66 would be more memorable in terms of, you know, like that would solidify him as the greatest goal scorer in the last 25 years you know, in a season. And honestly, I feel like overall, you know, you know it, 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 like, obviously Ovechkin, you know, McDavid, Crosby, McKinnon, and things like that, they're all, I mean, Kucherov, so many other great goal scorers. But if you get a season where you hit 66 goals, 66, which hasn't been done, by the way, uh, I think it hasn't been done since the 1980s. Like, I'll double check here, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. <sighs> Let's take a look here. The last time someone scored more than 66 goals in a season. It was 1992. Think about that. The last time someone scored 66 goals. Oh, sorry. Take that back. Sorry. 1995. Sorry. 1995? Yeah. 1995. Think about that. 1995. I got the job, Flames fan. I start next week. That is the big news. So. Hi, Moosh. Hello. I am a grumpy kitty. I like to snuggle all night, but I am very, very angry when I get snuggled outside of the bedroom. Why won't you let me love you? Why don't you let me love you? Here you go. <laughs> Seven to four were the shots, which is just bonkers for the Leafs. So thank you, appreciate that. Like I said, start next week and hopefully everything goes well. You know, what is up, Flames fan? What is up? What the? Oh. What is it? Oh, great. Congratulations to you as well. Oh, man. It's a home run fest for the Jays tonight. Nice. Keep it up, boys. You know. Like you said, it would be absolutely crazy. Again, it would pretty much be almost 30 years since we have seen a 66 goal score in a season. Matthews can make that happen tonight. And again, it would solidify him again as the greatest goal scorer probably again in the last 30 years. So, well, that's pretty cool. 
Hopefully it pays well, and hopefully you have a good time, and hopefully you get it. We still have a minute to go in their power play here as the second period is underway. Saying it's gone like Buck Williams. <laughs> nah, for me or whatever, I always do it like um, Buck Martinez, you know. Get up, ball, get out of here, God! Home run, Blue Jays! That's how I always like to say it. Damn it, Austin Matthews just almost had his 66 right freaking there. Yeah, just some leftovers from today. Oh, that was a bad... Hey, pay attention there, Riley. You got a guy coming out of the box. There you go. <sighs> Leafs are going to beat this icing out here. Great play there by Knives. Leafs keep the puck in the New Jersey end. There's a pass over from McCabe. Trying to get it over in front, but missing the long pass. Oh, yeah. Just the leftovers. Hi, Moosh. What's the matter? Meow. Come here. Give me a pretty girl. Allen with another big save here. Here's a chance. Oh, 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 Joe. Matthew Knight trying to get it over to free, uh, over to Comp there, but he couldn't make the quick enough pass. Oh, a giveaway in front. Mike, oh, my God, where's the help? Oh, what a chance. Matthew Knives against four Devils. Still got a shot away. Yeah, my son or whatever had his, um, he had his, uh, immunization shots yesterday. So, unfortunately, we had to deal with him being a little feverish or whatever today, so he didn't go to school. And he just doesn't have an appetite again today, so I've been trying to feed him something. So, unfortunately, the only thing he really has eaten is the McDonald's today. So, I've been trying to get him to eat more, giving him some more healthy drinks and stuff like that to make up for it. But he's just having, you know, he's totally fine. He just doesn't want to eat. Here's a chance now for Timmons with a long shot deflected. Big save. Rebound. No. It's lost, but Jake Allen's got it. Great opportunity there for the third line. Once again. 12 to 4 are the shots. But again, only a tie game so far. Well, we did, but they did sign Joey Votto, so uh, he's on a minor league contract. Uh, who's in it for the lead? That would be Wool in that tonight. I just don't think he likes his game. I don't know why. He had a chance for Brody with a long shot. Save there. Rebound in front. Oh, and Matthews couldn't get a hold of it. Neither could Domi. So. Leaves keep the puck out here. Here's a chance now for Austin Matthews coming on the right side. Throwing it towards the front of the net. Couldn't get it through. Good steal there by Bertuzzi, but he couldn't get a hold of it. Couldn't get a pass out. So yeah, Joey Votto again is on a minor league deal with the uh, with the Blue Jays, but he might randomly get a call up once in a, like maybe once, but I don't know. I mean, if they can play thirty nine year old Justin Turner, they can play forty year old Joey Votto once in a while. So. Sixteen twenty to go here in the second period. Still twelve to four in favor of the Leafs in the shot department. But the game is still tied at one. Leeds have had more of the opportunities here, but the Devils are starting to pick it up here with some more physical play. I think we have an offside there. Yeah, I hope he does. I mean, he's been okay, even though he's only had four shots and given up the one goal, but, like, you know, the least defense have really kept the puck away. 
No icing there as the puck's dumped in. Devils get a hold of it. Here's a chance now for the Devils coming in. There's a long shot, big kick save there by Wool. Big rebound though. Here's a chance now for the Leafs with a long, dumb pass up. Here's a chance for Bobby McMahon. Bobby McMahon hooked up. No call there. And now the Devils move the puck out. Here they come again with the shot. And it just sails high over Wool's head. Leafs trying to get the puck out here. Now they do. Here comes the fourth line again. Jake McCabe jumping up into the rush. He had the game winner last night. Here's David Kump trying to throw it towards the front, but he can't. Matthew Nyes moving the puck around. Back to the point. Bad giveaway here. And here come the Devils bringing the puck in. Oh, Knives takes a penalty. God damn it, Knives. It wasn't even that bad of a play, Knives. Why did you do that? Damn it, Knives. That was just a bad giveaway. Just a bad play. He just slashed, trying to get the, trying to get back in the play and caused the penalty. So now he's on the penalty kill. Ugh, just garbage. Again, lots of things could happen again in the wild card hunt. Right now, the Lightning have clinched the first wild card spot. At least, at least one. They've clinched at least a wild card spot. Devils with a chance here. There's a pass in front. Rebound scores. And another bad rebound in front of Wool with no help. And it's 2-1. to one. Wool couldn't make the extra effort there. No defense in front of him. 2-1. to one. Two goals. Six shots again. Like... Yeah, look at this. They all they all move away and look at this. Where was the defense? Like they left Wool out to dry again. Like Jesus Murphy boys. Wool is gonna lose his backup spot before the playoffs start. He has been. He's three and five since he's returned. He hasn't been great. Dawson Mercer with the goal on the power play. is 20th the goal of the season here. Here's another giveaway by the Leeds. And now another chance for the Devils with a shot. And Wool sees that one right on and covers it up. As always, guys, if you guys are enjoying the live stream, just like on TikTok, you can easily like, share, comment, and maybe become a subscriber or a follower here on YouTube. If you would like to support us, though, here on YouTube, you can do so, again, with Super Chats, Super Stickers, Memberships, or, again... The e-transfer option is still available at Parkinson underscore Alex at Hotmail.com. Thank you again to Hockey Yahoo. Once again, Easton, thank you so much for your two stickers tonight. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Sticks and, uh, st I believe stickers and memberships and uh, chats or whatever are monthly, donate, uh, monthly things. So, like, if you do it, I usually will get it at the end of the month where e-transfers are instant. Oh, Matthews! No, man, Jake Allen wasn't even looking at the side where he was, and Matthews couldn't bury a goal. Oh, my God. Yeah, that should have been a goal. I can't believe he flubbed that. Here's Domi with a long clip, and it's deflected high into the air. He's trying to pass it over. Matthews caught behind the play there with a the Devils player. Quick save there by Wool. Wool quickly plays it out here. Timmons getting it over to the right side. Here's a pass up by Giordano. Over to Domi. Domi moving the puck in. He's got Tavares and Bertuzzi with the shot deflected. Oh, I didn't think that. I didn't know if that actually had hit the out of play. The Devils trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. 
Yeah. What I'm hoping, I don't know. I mean, I think Wool will most likely be kept again because of how good his contract is. And he will be the backup again next year. I think he'll be trying to figure out whether or not the Leafs should give Samsonov another deal. I feel like they have no choice but to do that. You know. I don't know. I just. I think because, again, Jones is so much older, I think the Leafs might want to try to stay with Wool and hopefully just chalk this up again to being injured. You know, just not being fully recovered from his injury and hopefully try to work through it in the offseason. Because we know Wool can be a good goaltender. And I think, again, the injury is just him coming back has just not been good for him. So, I think Jones is like 34 or something like that. So, he's on the older side. Yeah, I agree. I think I definitely think we could see Wool in the minors. But <sighs> Now I'm pretty sure he's in his thirties. I'm pretty sure Martin Jones is in his thirties. Like, look at this awesome opportunity for Matthews. And look for Wolf's face. Uh, look at that. He, if Matthews had waited half a second longer to shoot the puck. Look, Alec didn't even notice. Oh, my God. That was 66 right there. That was 66 right there. Leafs keep the puck in after the face off. There's a shot towards the net, but blocked. And now here come the Devils. Almost again, the Leafs are giving up so many uh, guys behind their defense. Almost got sprung on a breakaway. Yeah, he's 34. Yeah, he's old. Like shit. Here comes Tavares moving the puck in. Marner getting a hold of it, losing it there. Yeah, yeah. He's, I just don't think Jones will be around next season. I think Jones will end up going to be at a backup or whatever for a bottom feeder next year. They'll he'll, he'll go be a backup somewhere for a team or whatever that's got a rising goalie. Uh, 12.05 left in the second period. 14.8 are the shots. Man, these freaking rebounds. Yeah, maybe. I think Hillaby will be the starting guy in the AHL for sure next year, like, in full. And you can see, Mar I can see Martin Jones going to be the backup in the minors, but I don't know. Camp trying to get the puck towards the front of the net there with Gregor and Knight. There's a chance for Knives! Big save! McCabe with a shot! Another save by Allen! Oh, goodness! Multiple opportunities! Yeah, maybe. I can't believe the Leafs couldn't bury that one. Allen, again, has been... It, it, it seems like Allen has got the Leafs number not only in the last game they played, but now this one. He just seems to have the Leafs number. Who's winning so far? That would be the New Jersey Devils, 2-1. to one. So. That's just how it is. Leafs are very unlucky. We just keep getting ourselves beat by former Leaf players and former Habs all the time. There's a shot. Great deflection, but what a catch by Wall. I can't believe Nice couldn't bury that. Just wham! And then another shot. Bam! Uh, Reeves is not playing, no. Right back up and back at it. 
Oh, see, I had such a tiring night last night because, like I said, my, my kid had his immunization shots like in the afternoon or in the mor late morning, early afternoon, and he was totally fine until like literally like one o'clock in the morning. And then he started waking up with a fever, and I'm just like, fuck. I had to give him some medicine or whatever, and he's still not 100%. And I guess. As long as you're respectable in my chat, sure. <laughs> Here's a train move there. Another great opportunity and for the Devils. Coming in. Uh, most likely again because it's a, uh, since it was a back-to-back, -back, they add in some different players or whatever to make sure they don't have, they don't get too tired. And again, we don't even know if Reeves is going to be a starting guy in the playoffs yet, so. There's a chance! Oh, a chance for Matthews! Oh, what he missed! Oh my god, again, 66 on his stick, and he missed! Oh my god, it's got to happen tonight, it really does. Puck being shot right in on Wool. He's out to play it there. Leafs get a hold of it now. Here comes Nylander with a burst of speed into the center. Moving it in. Dumped in there by Nylander. Uh, sorry, Marner. Oh, man. Nylander had a note. He's going to pass it to Tavares. So. Yeah, he just couldn't get it. He just really couldn't get it. Again. Big hit there in the line. The Leafs net. Benoit involved. Again, the Leafs. He hits that 66. Again, it's going to be great. Man, Matthews having so many opportunities. He's going to get it. I can't believe he couldn't bury this one. Big save there by Allen, though, to get a piece of that. So. Charles Barkley, Jennifer Gardner, Spike Lee, and Samuel L. Jackson in a commercial together on a blimp. I think they're going to have to have Reeves play because you're going to have to have that little bit of toughness, I think. You know? I mean, like I said, I can't, I can't, I can't, you can't justify not having Reeves in the playoffs again because of his veteran, uh, because one, he's a veteran. Two, again, with his physicality and stuff like that, I think that, again, he's got to at least get into at least a couple of games for sure because you're going to want to have that veteran physical presence, you know, throughout those really tough few games to start off the playoffs. And again, against Florida, it's definitely going to be a situation where you have to be thinking to yourself that Florida is going to get really, really physical and really, really chippy right in the beginning. I think the Masters start this week. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. They won, so I keep the same jersey on whenever they win. I switch back when they lose. Like I said. Yeah, I know. That's the one issue, as, as you said. I think he just... He doesn't know the exact right timing to play certain players. So... <laughs> And with all the 
But I think or whatever, we're gonna see some big we're gonna see some big changes going forward with the Toronto Maple Leafs starting next season. You know. So, I think that there's there's new ownership in the MLSE, so if the Leafs don't win, you know, either either this year or next year. I think they already changed. I think they've already changed. I think there's a new owner in MLSE, so I think that it's already happened. So Shanahan, 100%, I think is gone probably, if not at the end of this year, if the Leafs don't win, um, but next year for sure, after the end of next year for sure, I think, at the, at the latest. I can't, unless, again, unless the Leafs either win this season or next year, Shanahan is gone. And there'll be a complete retooling of how this team is built from the ground up. So. Yeah. And that was the thing. The Shanna plan had such a, a big, a big potential. I had so much potential. But. Again, I. You know, I just don't think it's a. Bad giveaway by the Leafs. Oh, ho, ho. Luckily or whatever, they're going to get a hold of the puck and move it out. Yeah. I mean, like you said, there was so much potential for the Shanna plan. There was so much potential with Babcock. There's so much potential of Kyle Dubas coming in after Lou Lamorello. Just, again, it's the Leafs, you know. Oh, here's a breakaway. It's Holberg. Oh, and he's robbed by Allen, but he gets another chance. Shooting, hit the bar. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, like, you know, yeah, I mean, like I said, once we get rid of Tavares, you know, or if Tavares takes a much better contract in the future, then yeah, it'll, we'll be fine. But, wow. Is the pug just moving weird or is it just me? Here's Bobby McMahon with the puck behind the net. Yeah, I'd love to see them build another. Uh, uh, build. Oh, 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 Timmons! Oh my God, Timmons had the puck coming right around to him as Jake Allen was trying to get to the other side of the net, but Timmons couldn't bury it. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he'd have to take a monster cut. He'd, he'd have to take a monster cut. Matthews does have an extension already in place, so, and I think Marner will definitely resign again. Though he'll, I'm really hoping he doesn't want fucking Marner, uh, fucking Matthews money. So, you know. Oh yeah, you're right. Allen is 100% in their heads, and I think they they need that goal to really fix this. But Allen seems to have them. Leafs win the face off, keeping the puck in, into the... Throwing in front, there's David Kahn, but he couldn't get a hold of it there in front. And the Devils are going to get it out. Wow, what a bounce that was. Leafs now intercepted here. Now here comes the chance for Leafs. Matthew Nye trying to get through again. Three Devils. But now the Leafs get caught. Now it's a three-on-two break the other way for the Devils. Driving in. Throwing it in front. The Leafs intercept. And now the Leafs need to get going here. They got a chance. But they're just going to have to dump it in. I agree. But again, he still is averaging, you know, even with injuries, like a point per game. So you got to think you still got to give him something. You still got to give him some sort of decent contract for a player who continues to score that kind of stuff. So... Here's a chance now for the Leafs in front. Bertuzzi scores! Big Bernie! And the game is tied! Oh, baby! What a goal! And the Leafs 
now have a chance to try to exercise the Jake Allen demon who have seemed to have their number. What a pass there. I think that was Domi with another great pass. He has been so good. Look, at look, 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 wait, look, shoot, pass, nope, pass, or what a big shot by Bertuzzi. Man, 20 goals now for Bertuzzi. Who would have thought that? Come on, good. Yes! Giordano out of nowhere! After the Leafs tied it up, Gio says, I want to get on this action. Oh, my. Giordano out to the faceoff win after the tying goal. The Leafs get it into the zone. They move it back to the point for Matthews. And then, boom! That is a seeing eye bullet. That went by three Devils players and then Allen, and it hit the top corner. And Gio's like, holy crap, I scored again. What's happening here? Oh, wow. The clock wasn't even moving. 14 second difference. They had to double check because the time clock didn't start working when the puck dropped. Unbelievable. Matthew Nyes getting the first goal. Bertuzzi getting the second. And Gio with a banger. I will be live, Josh, back on April the 11th. That's when my suspension is over from TikTok. Because apparently I was gambling while watching WWE. So, yeah, they forgot the, the time wasn't running when they dropped the puck. So they had to double check to see how long it actually took. Yeah, I don't think Alan saw it at all. He saw that Gio was about to shoot the puck, but then three Devils players literally moved in front of his eye view, and then all of a sudden he was like, oh damn, it's in the net. Oh. 3-2 lead here for the Buds with 421 to go, and we're going to another commercial break. Thank you guys so much for coming in the live stream from TikTok. And we'll be back again on TikTok again starting on April the 11th after the suspension is over. If you guys are enjoying this live stream and would like to see more of it, not just on YouTube but on TikTok and possibly other places in the future, you can click the like button, the share, the comment, and maybe even the follow slash subscribe button. You also can be a super chatter or a super sticker, or you can do the memberships here on YouTube, or... You can choose to e-transfer at Parkinson underscore Alex at Hotmail.com, superseding the middleman or getting rid of the middleman. Thank you again for all of your guys' support. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic, wonderful night. Hi, baby bear. Again, as always, we're back. Oh, yeah, I, I think TikTok, again, is better in terms of, like, you know, having... The only, the only, the only thing that's wrong, again... The only thing that sucks about TikTok, again, is because they take so much money when you choose to gift or donate, or uh, or when you gift. Again, they take like 66% of it. YouTube, I don't believe they, I don't believe they take too much of it. And but the only issue there is is that it's a monthly thing. So yeah, and that's the thing. I think or whatever we might do both going forward. But we will see what happens. I definitely think we'll be going back. We're going back to TikTok for sure again. And hopefully or whatever, we don't have any fucking issues or whatever with... Um... I mean, the only good thing about YouTube is, again, I feel like it's less trolls. You know. Because people who come specifically here to see these lives are people who subscribe and they will actually come and see it. So... 
Yeah. Hey, Luke, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that's the great thing, again, you know, especially on your computer and stuff like that. A lot easier than using TikTok on your computer, so. Yeah, again, unfortunately, I was suspended from TikTok for a few days because apparently watching WWE WrestleMania is considered gambling. So I got suspended and I lost the appeal. Again, I don't know why. So I will be back, though, on the 11th for the next game against the Devils. So. <laughs> You're being silly. 19 to 10 are the shots in favor of the Leafs in this game. And the Devils have just taken a penalty here. That's why I always recommend, guys, if you, you guys always get, if you guys want to see, like, really quickly updates and stuff like that, always check my stories, because that's usually where you're going to find the most updates about what's going on. Leafs have a delayed penalty call here that they have the puck. Devils will take a penalty here and let the Leafs somehow score on this 6-on-5 with the goalie pulled. Getting it over to Matthews in front. Back to the point. Here's a chance for Timmons. Pass. Shot. Oh, my God. I missed again. And they finally get a hold of the puck, the Devils do, and they will take a, a penalty here with 3.05 remaining in the second. I just can't believe he missed. It was just unbelievable. The Leafs have had so many opportunities here, they just can't seem to. Man, it's going to be another warm day tomorrow. Today was like 20 plus degrees. Ah, they tugged him down. It's going to be a holding call. Timmons with a beauty pass, and then this shot by Marner, and it just literally went through the crease and just missed. Oh, my God. So Tierney gets an interference call. I don't know. I mean, I think it could happen. Just a cashier job at a surplus store. That's all. Here's a chance for the Leafs trying to get the puck in front. There's Matthews looking for 66. If he gets it, he'll be the first player since 1995. There's the shot, and it just was kicked away there by Allen. So, yeah, starts next week, so it really was. Yeah, a job is a job. I mean, it's going to, in October, it'll start paying 17. I, don't, I'll, I have to double check and see what the pay is. I have to get more information about that because I, I don't think they really said. So. Here comes the shorthanded chance, another save by Wool, but another big rebound. And I can't wait to start. Unfortunately, that means, though, that my um, my uh, schedule or whatever, you know, for doing lives is going to change. So we'll see what happens. And, yes, it was a beautiful day with the Doggos. Hopefully you guys checked out the charity live stream and the highlights uh, back on my channel on TikTok or the full live stream here on YouTube first 30 minutes of the live on YouTube here is me doing it, then the the host doing it, and then 30 minutes of a little more checking around on the ground and stuff. Well, I don't mind if the minimum wage goes up. I just wish or whatever that, again, um, you know, they just didn't, like, like, like you said, the corporation didn't make life so much harder to live. So, the conservative governments. Now he's with a shot! Big chance in front! Rebound! They scored! And Allen is pissed. He thought he had it. The whistle didn't blow. The referee said it's a goal. They're going to look at this one. Do you have to have a certain amount of subscribers to go live on here? No, I don't think so. I don't think you need a certain amount. I'm not sure, though. I mean, I've had this channel for years, so I honestly don't know. It's... <laughs> <laughs> you literally see the coach literally mouth what the fuck I agree again I'm also a big proponent I'm a big supporter of the minimum uh, uh, sorry of the basic income program where every single grown ass adult would get a thousand dollars a month extra
Did he actually ever have it covered up, is the question. No, he didn't. I don't think he did. I think he went to grab it, but he missed it. They just called a no goal. Damn it! I think they might challenge this one. Yeah. So they're looking to see whether or not. I don't know. I gotta get a. Yeah, let's see this view from the top. Let's see if Tavares actually kicks him off the puck. Let's see here. I don't know. I don't know about that. That might be a good. They should challenge this. Nope, no challenge. They're not gonna challenge. Wow. That's bullshit. Well, the Leafs aren't going to get a power play goal here, but here come the Devils shorthanded. Power play is over. Leafs get steal the puck inside of the Devils zone here. Here's a chance for Knives on the fourth line. Trying to cycle it around here, trying to get a pass away, but it's intercepted. Knives, even though Knives has scored, he's, he's not played really a great second period here. Here's a shot. He's another goddamn rebound from Wolf. His rebound game is ridiculous tonight. Like, oh my god, he has not he has not had a good game using those rebounds. I agree. I think it should have been a good goal, too. I really hate that. And again, uh, guys, why are so many devils behind the defense? Nine seconds remaining here in the period. Here's one last opportunity for the bud. Domi with one last chance, and he can't get it through. And that will bring us to a second intermission. All righty. Either way, once again, we're here in another intermission. Thank you guys so much for coming into the live stream as always. Thank you again to Hockey Yahoo for the stickers, the uh, super stickers. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Luke. I appreciate that. Ah, you're the troll bouncer. Okay, perfect. Good to see you. So, yeah, I mean, like, you look at, again, how the Leafs played in that game, uh, in that second period. They played so well. And now, again, you got to be thinking to yourselves, like, can the Leafs hold them off enough to get this win tonight? So. Man, Montreal is destroying Philadelphia. Yeah, you never know what the inter how the referees are going to call interference anymore. So I think that's probably why there wasn't a challenge. So Washington and Detroit battling. That's another big game with big playoff implications. Florida needing a win to keep them uh, them in pace to try to catch up to Boston or and keep themselves ahead of the Leafs. Uh, what was my favorite match at WrestleMania? Uh, oh, absolutely, the Cody Rhodes Roman Reigns. Like the final match was just perfect. It couldn't have been a better match. Um, the Islanders and the Rangers. Islanders trying to get up into the playoffs. Tampa Bay will be in the playoffs, but they are trying to hold on to that first wild card spot. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna. I think they're gonna end up being the wild, the first wild card team, no matter what. So, you know, and yeah, Wool has been absolutely crazy in terms of like so many rebounds and stuff like that. So, you know, it's been absolutely crazy. So. Again, guys, as always, if you guys are looking to get yourselves your own spiffy NHL jersey, but you don't want to spend the money on the real one, or you don't want to spend the money just for the fact that it's so goddamn expensive, check out dhgate.com. Get you get it a wholesale. Yeah. Again, I think or whatever with wool and stuff like that, it was just... 
the inch he just came back and he just hasn't been the same so i am i'm really excited that he's champion i am and it's going to be interesting to see how they move ahead with him as champion for how long he's going to be you know the champion so so yeah but yeah like i said Check out dhgate.com if you want to get yourself your own jersey, including maybe one like this with your favorite player, or maybe your own name. Get it all for under $60. We'll take about five weeks for delivery, though. Also, don't forget to be able to check out Ike's Hockey Shop, also available on TikTok. Check out, uh, check out Frontier out in Ilderton, a great place for training your dogs, grooming, obedience training, things like that. Check it out if you're in the London or the Ontario area, or if you're just looking maybe to have some serious training for your dogs or whatever, not only just in Canada, but if you're from America as well. I want the winged eagle belt. I think 100% it will happen. So, you know, it's definitely going to happen. It, it doesn't make sense for them not to bring it back. Like, when you've seen this title be the same for four years or five years or however long it's been, it's just, it needs to be time. You already have a new world heavyweight title. It's time to bring back an old title for shits and giggles. Because again, it, it, I mean, they've said they want to give it. They want to give some. They want to give the new era a little bit of an old school feel in a sense. And I think the wing championship, the winged eagle championship, would be the best idea. So. Yep, he did, and then they ended up freaking doing the other one. They switched it back or whatever to a the one they have now, obviously. I mean, it's still similar to the old one, but not the exact same, obviously. But again, you never know, so. So, we'll see what happens. Again, as always, guys, if you guys are looking to watch some of these great highlights, um... Uh, if you guys want to check out the Leafs highlights from this game later on tonight, and you want to listen to the wonderful, soulful call of Joe Bowen and Jim Ralph on the radio, check out Leafs Jelly HD here on YouTube. Great channel. He puts highlights or whatever to, uh, to the game uh, with the uh, radio broadcast call. And like I said, it's just funny hearing again. It's just, it just sometimes it's just, it just makes, it just hearing it makes so much more sense. And I'd love to be able to line up uh, the radio call when I do it, you know, to the game that I'm watching. But it's never the case, obviously. So, uh, no, I was up in my eight-story apartment, so we couldn't see it. Um, and it only got like, it only like the, it did get a little bit darker for like two minutes, but it didn't go like full black or anything like that. It literally was just like, it literally looked like the sun was setting, and that was it. I definitely think DIY will definitely be winning a championship probably sometime this year at Tag Team Titles, probably either from Awesome Truth or, again, from the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Um, you know, uh, Grayson Waller and uh, Austin Theory. I think, again, we, the uh, WWE Draft is coming up this month, so we will see how some storylines are really going to start playing out once that happens. So, so again, here we're in the second intermission. For those who missed it, again, the earlier announcement... I now have a new job starting next week, so my TikTok schedule and everything like that and my live schedule and everything is going to change just a little bit, so yeah, I think a lot of the titles need to be changed. I don't like the fact that just most of them just have, you know, it was dark where I saw a lot. Well, that's pretty cool. That would have been awesome to see it go completely black or get really, really dark. Like I said, ours, it didn't really do that at all, which was unfortunate. Um... You know, like my, like I guess I'm still the uh, the hours for my new job are really really great, and I'm really hoping that I'll still be able to come back and do lives for you guys still on the regular, and I still will try to do lives on my days off when I can. Um, you know, obviously that's not always going to be the case, but you know I'm going to be trying to figure out the best way that I can continue doing this and having fun with you guys, uh, and again hopefully you know be doing really good at my new job. So, yeah. 
you know, I'm really hoping that that goes well. And like I said, I'm still waiting for my, my, my tax refund to fucking come in because it's taking so fucking long to get here. Because <sighs> of all, like, some stupid fucking delay shit. I just really, 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 really would like that to come in because that would be a really nice fucking extra fucking 1800 fucking dollars, you know? So... But yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to, again, you know, just getting back to my normal life, you know, working and earning some more money and stuff like that and hopefully having a good time still doing this. So, you know, next week is going to be interesting, but we will be here, though, for the next few Leaf games for sure, the Thursday and the Saturday game for sure. Uh, but we might, we, I'm not sure what the uh, other games are going to be going forward, so... Yeah, I kind of feel I kind of I kind of feel like the, the the provincial government owes us a lot of money <laughs> after everything they've been been doing to us. So here's hoping or whatever we get a different we get a different uh, government in power or whatever next election for the province. One that will reintroduce uh, uh, rent control and hopefully try to make things a little bit cheaper. And it sucks or whatever that, um, you know, the funny thing is or whatever, you know, we also saw the carbon tax and everything go up a little bit, but gas has already gone back to exactly where it was before it, for me anyway. It's still a buck fifty where I am, so. You know. And it went down, it went down a little bit before April 1st, and then it went up until like a buck sixty, and now it's back down to a buck fifty again, so, like, nothing changed. All I know is that I'm getting all I know is that I'm getting more rebates back now. So that's nice. So yeah. But now or whatever, you know, now that I'm going I'm gonna be starting a new job and everything like that, I'll be taking the car to work, obviously. And um, you know, my wife is gonna have to take the kid to a school program or whatever for pretty much all of until August, you know, on the bus. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be $100 every month that I'm going to have to pay for, for bus tickets. That'll be fun. But that's all right. Either way, hopefully you guys are enjoying the game. It was a crazy second period. You know, again, the Leafs leading 3-2 to two now, going into that third period, hopefully very soon. So. Yeah, I, I have a car, and I'm the only one with a license, but the problem is, or whatever, is that my son's schooling is in the afternoon, but I start work in the morning. So, at least un at least from, you know, at least until his program is over, um, you know, uh, she's going to have to take the bus to get him there, because I'll be at work. So. And she's just going to stay around that area um, while he's there, because there's no point in her taking a bus home because a bus ride takes like 45 minutes because she has to take like two buses to get there and everything and it's annoying uh, but it also you know but once he starts normal school in September it'll be much better because then he starts in the morning so I can and my, and my work doesn't start until the mid morning so I can get up get him ready for school take him to school drop him off at school and um you know, and then go to work, and then my wife can go and pick him up. So. You know, we're really hoping that, like, this all works out, you know. So. Oh, I tell you, man, I, I need to have, like, the most perfect sleep. You know? Is my fucking Wi-Fi glitching out again? Nope.
Oh wow, look, another mass shooting in the States. Crazy. Call me shocked. Of course, there's a fucking police officer doing it, so... Ovechkin scored again! He really is going to break that record probably next season. Or the season after that. But man, Montreal is destroying Philadelphia tonight. Oh my god. Oh, I know, right? Not even just that. It's the cops that are doing the shootings. Violating people's rights down there, day in and day out. All the Islanders got on the board in their game. Very nice. So. Wow, the Islanders came back to take the lead in that one. Jesus Christ, Kudrov has 137 points now. That is goddamn fucking bonkers. Like, seriously, how do you have 137 points in a season nowadays? That's crazy. It's just bonkers. It's just bonkers. Like, Austin Matthews or whatever came into this game just outside of the top five. Like, geez, like, Kudrov is 100% going to win the, you know, is going to win the, um, what do you call it, uh, the MVP for sure. I mean, David definitely could as well. He's up there. I mean, there's only a three points difference between Kucherov and Nathan McKinnon, and six points between McDavid. Like, Jesus Christ. Connor McDavid is going to hit 100 assists, most likely. God damn, man. Connor Bedard is going to win Rookie of the Year. That's no doubter now, for sure. Matthew Nyes in the in uh, in the top ten for total points for a rookie. Thirty-five this season so far. But yeah, Connor Bedard is going to be so good one day, man. Like Jesus Christ, I mean, he already is good, but like, god damn. William Nylander only needing four points coming into this game to be to get to 100 points. He'd be the second Leaf to do that this season. Let's see. One Tampa Bay player. So let's see. So there'd be two Toronto players, two Colorado players, two Edmonton players, a New Yorker, a Vancouver guy as well. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. It would be crazy to have them both on the same team. But again, we'd never be able to afford it. Like, you'll never ever see nowadays a first round, like a first overall pick get traded if they're good. Like, they will literally stay unless they decide to sign elsewhere after their first big boy contract ends, you know? Still can't believe it. Like, how good has the Florida goaltending been? Like, that's the one issue that I'm going to have with Florida is that we're not going to be able to win because of goaltending issues again. We're not going to be able to eat Bobrovsky or Stolarz this year. Like, god damn. Like, we're just we're just going to get we're just going to get beat so badly against again. You know, Swayman and Allmark as well. Like, why in the hell do we have to either face? Like the number, the number one goalie tandem in the league, 
or the number two goalie tandem in the league. Like, it's just bullshit. You know? I just don't get it. I really don't get how we have to deal with that every single goddamn year, it feels like, you know? <laughs> Third period about to get underway. Let's see if the Leafs can. Oh, yeah. They've had so many opportunities to bury this game. But they haven't. So. Third period is underway here. Here's a chance now for the Devils with a shot, and it went wide. Leafs got to get the puck out here, and they almost had a, get a chance to get by the defense. And now here comes Austin Matthews, giving it over. What a play there by Domi, pushing the puck in behind the net to Matthews. Back to Domi. Domi having to move it back to the point. Here's a chance now for Brody. Over to Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley at the puck. Move off his stick. We threw it on net, and it almost squeaked by. Intercepted there by Bertuzzi. He tried to throw it out in front. Chance now for Domi and Bertuzzi with a shot by Domi. And it whistled wide and over the net. Kept in though. Here's a chance for Domi. Moving it over again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi getting a pass by Morgan Riley with a shot. And it went wide. Change is coming for both teams. Man, I still can't believe Matthews hasn't scored in this game yet. It's just crazy. Puck inside of the Leafs zone now for the Devils. Low, way wide. Come on, McMahon, get the puck out. Nice kick there by McMahon. Falling down and kicked that puck out of the zone. Well done. Oh, bad giveaway in front of the, behind the Leafs net. And a great chance for the Devils. But Wool was there. 23 to 12 are the shots. 13 now. Might have been up to 14. We'll see what happens. Either way, still a 3-2 lead for the Leafs, and they're going to get the puck out here. Here comes a very streaking Nylander, getting it over to Holmberg, trying to throw it in front, and Nylander couldn't get the tip. Here's Robertson now cycling behind the net, trying to push it through. He's knocked down. Holmberg trying to knock his man down. He falls. Nylander pinching in to get it. Yeah, I know. I'd lo I, I noticed or whatever that he does have. Technically, he would, but we got to get a real one. <laughs> oh, Jesus, guys. Pay attention. Bad giveaway. <laughs> oh, man. So Nicky Robertson right now is five on five. He is scoring. Jesus, Murray, he's been so good. And this is why you play him, Keith. Ah, yes, it's a listen to you. Hey, Luke, it's good to see you. Lives in New Jersey. Very nice. Bad. Oh, right out in front, and it misses everybody. And the Devils are going to have to go back. Yeah, I don't know, I haven't scrapped in a while, but you know, he's definitely he's gonna be the he's gonna be a playoff starter for sure, obviously. He has no choice. Here comes Gregor moving in, dropping he actually could have probably came in all by himself. He had the speed. Here's Morgan Riley with a shot and a quick save and a catch by Allen. I am good, Lucas. I am doing great. Had uh, my job interview yesterday. I got the job as of today, so I am very excited and happy starting next week, so I can't wait. 
eight events go in a row before you miss one. And Jordan is disappointed to be like, oh, for one. And a good chance. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, I'm still gonna be, I'll still be doing a couple more lives this week. So, you know, I'll be doing, um, you know, I'll be doing the uh, the Leaf game on Thursday and then the Leaf game Saturday. And uh, we'll see what happens uh, for the other days. But like I said, my first day is Tuesday, so we'll see what happens. Appreciate all the love and everything like that. And like I said, we'll also be back on TikTok on Thursday, unless any other shenanigans happen. 16-10 to go here in the third period. Lee's dumbing the puck in from the red line. Kept in there by a sprawling Matthews. Oh, wow, Jake Allen out to play the puck. And the Leafs are going to keep the puck in. Barely, and wow, McCabe was held, or sorry, Timmons was held and knocked down. No call, a three-on-two break the other way, intercepted. Here come the Leafs back the other way. It's Max Domi on the left side, driving and shooting, and he rung it just wide. Oh, a great opportunity there. Domi getting over to Matthews. He couldn't get a hold of it there. Just a surplus cat, just a surplus store in London. I don't want to mention it just because I don't want people to, you know, do anything stupid, you know. So. It'll get out eventually, but I'm going to try to keep it as private as long as possible. So, Just a cashier at a surplus store. So. Here's a chance now for Jersey coming back the other way. There's a pass in front or to the right side and a great interception and great defensive work there by Benoit. Benoit gets to the neutral zone and dumbing it in. Tavares trying to beat his man to the puck. He can't, but it's grabbed up by McMahon. Who shoots it? And it went right through the crease. All the way to the other side. Back to the point over to Marner. Marner shooting. Rebound in front. Chance for Tavares. Down was Allen. But he made an incredible save. Here's another chance for the Leafs again. Gives it up. There does Tavares. And the Devils get it out. What an opportunity that was. But a sprawling Jake Allen with probably the save of the night. Tipped in there by the Leafs. Oh, no, they say it didn't touch anybody. And it's an icing call with 14.24 to go. Let's take a look at these replays here. Look at that. Allen sprawling down. Somehow made that save with his body. Tavares trying to shot it right out the body instead of going for the open net. Again, hopefully you guys are enjoying the live stream. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and maybe even subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already done so. Don't forget, you can do super chats, super stickers, or memberships here on YouTube, all for around as little as a dollar. You can also do the e-transfer option again at Parkinson underscore Alex at Hotmail.com. Parkinson underscore Alex, Hotmail.com. That again is direct and as always completely private. Leaves need to get the puck out here. A lot of New Jersey fans in the audience tonight. Intercepted. There. Here's Matthew Nice with a shot. And oh, Jake Allen with a big glove save. Still 3-2 to two is the score. Ooh, the Jays are still winning. Thank you, Oscar. Appreciate that. Thank you for letting me know. I'll be watching the highlights or whatever the game later. Another commercial break here. Thank you again for being a part of the live stream, guys. Yeah, the Leafs were able to take the lead, though, in the third period, or in the second period, after two goals in nine seconds, approximately. The only reason we don't, I, I think they've updated or whatever for nine seconds, because the time clock didn't start after they dropped the puck, and then in that first nine, ten seconds, the Leafs scored again and made it three to two. The Leafs are trying to exercise the Jake Allen boogeyman, because he was making so many saves against them in the last game, and it seemed like he was going to have their number again. But now we hold a 3-2 lead. 
rapid rehydration with a specialized blend of five electrolytes and lower sugar. Hydration for every athlete, forever. We want the market price lobster and to know the market price. Next week, whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all, except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and check out with pure, funny, corrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. Oh, I really do need a haircut and a shave. Yeah, I'm going to probably have to, I got to, you know, look nice or whatever for the new job. I can't be all scruffy looking, so. I might, I might shave, I might keep the goatee and cut my hair, uh, but like get rid of like the beard and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. Lee's trying to get the puck and cycle it around in the devil zone here. Nylander trying to do that, but he loses it. He has to backtrack, and the puck is out of the zone. 13-20 to go. Lee's holding on to the lead here. 28-17 are the shots. Again, Jake Allen has kept this game close, but here come the Leafs now with a chance. Nylander with a burst of speed on the left side. Moving over to the right side. There's the shot. Big save rebound and a cover by Allen again. Oh yeah, like I said, I don't, I normally or whatever, I just have like a goatee and then I cut this side and then I cut my, I shave my hair. So I am not bald, but like low. Because again, with the hotter weather and stuff like that, I can't really keep all of this because it's just maddeningly hot for me. So. What you doing there, Gavin? Matthew still looking for 66 tonight. He's been trying to get it. He's had a few great opportunities, but has not been able to bury it. Let's see if he can do it here in this game. Here's a chance for Matthews trying to slip in there. Kept in there by the Leafs. No, it's going to get shot out, and the Leafs are going to have to backtrack. So, yeah, he needs he needs 66, and he'd be the first one ever to do the first person to do it since 1995. So. Here's a chance now for the Leafs. Now here's Domi getting over to Matthews. Matthews with a shot. He scores! 66! For the first time in over almost 30 years, an NHL goal scorer has scored 66 goals! Unbelievable! Big Poppy! And there it is! What a shot! He shot it under the three in the legs of the New Jersey player with a little bit of a screen. And it is 66 for 34. Austin Matthews! Hey, Cleve, good to see you. <laughs> Who's our poppy? Oh, it's Austin awesome, Matthews. <laughs> hey, Finchy, good to see you. I don't know. I can't remember how he got it. It's, I mean, a lot of everyone think everyone knows or whatever that it's also, um, what do you call it? Um, it's also, uh, you know, David Ortiz's nickname, but hey. So again, for the first time since Mario Lemieux, there is an NHL goal scorer who has scored 66 goals. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Four goals away. Indeed, 66. Again, it is, it is mind-boggling to think about that this is a year we have watched one man score more goals 66, here's a two on, a two on for the Leafs, oh, oh, what a chance, lose in front, 
It's still low! Shout out! Oh, and the lady tells out another one! Mario got 66. In 95. So. Again, this is the first time since 1995 that an NHL player has scored this many goals in a season. And then next, yeah, so 66. He now, he now has tied, um, he has now tied, again, Lanny McDonald and Phil Esposito. Again, the last time that an NHL player scored more than 66 was Mario Lemieux. He really has. Mario did 69 in 1995. Yeah, New Jersey or whatever has to win this game or they will be eliminated from playoff contention. So the Leafs, and again with the Leafs win tonight, they will keep pace with a chance of trying to jump ahead of Florida for second. But again, they need some luck for that to happen because Florida has a much easier schedule. So I don't think it's going to happen. So... And again, if Matthews hits 70, he would be the first player since 1992 to do that. And that was Timu Solani and Alexander McGillney, who both scored 76 goals in that same season. So, it's bonkers. Hello, good to see you. Um, there for the Leafs, there is four after this one. They play the Devils again, they play Detroit, and then they play Winnipeg, uh, sorry, uh, Florida and Tampa Bay one more time. They play Thursday of this week, Saturday, and then they play Tuesday, Wednesday against the two, Flo two Florida teams. Oh, and Matt is another glorious chance, but Allen makes the save. Again, as always, guys, if you guys are enjoying the live stream, don't forget to like, share, comment, maybe click that subscribe button. You can do super chats, super stickers, or uh, do memberships here on YouTube if you want, all for the low price of a dollar. I believe it's the cheapest one that you can do. Uh, you can do as, as high or as little as you like with those um, for the stickers and the super chat. Or you can then do the e-transfer again at Parkinson underscore Alec at Hotmail.com. And again... We will be back on TikTok once again on Thursday as our suspension will come to an end unless more shenanigans happen. Yeah, I mean, it's doable. It is doable. He's literally got to score one per game now to do it. But getting an extra one here wouldn't be, uh, would not be an issue. I will be going back to TikTok for the Thursday game. That is when my suspension ends late tomorrow night, so... Hopefully, or whatever, everything will be good to go. <laughs> I love him to do that, but there hasn't been an 80 goal scorer since uh, 1990 when Brett Hall did it. So, Brett Hall did 86 that year. You know, I'm really, I'm really, really hoping that we're going to see again. I really would love to see 70. Because, again, it would be the first time again since um, 1992 that a player or whatever had scored 70-plus goals or more. So, but again, right now, Austin Matthews, with 66 goals, is now, so far, the best goal scorer in a season. Not in the NHL, no. Not in the NHL, no. 92 is the highest goal scoring number in a season. Again, that was done by the great one back in 1981. And he did that in 80 games. So. Don't be in the face off circle here, trying to win it here. Can't. Devils trying to get the puck out. They're 
playoffs, their playoff lives are on the line tonight. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we've all dolly done it in the uh, NHL games. So. What the really crazy thing is, is that if you have played any NHL game, um, any NHL game all the way back, you know, the last time you were in a game that had this, me uh, that had a goal scorer do this, again, was 1995. So if you were playing the NHL 95 game, or the NHL, or the NHL 96 game, because it would have been the NHL 90, oh no, no. No, it would have been an NHL, yeah, it would have been NHL, um, no, no, it wouldn't have been. I can't remember. No, no, it would have been NHL 96. So if you were to play NHL 96, you would have been playing the last NHL game where a player had scored this many goals in a season. It is. It is. It is a must win. They have to win tonight if they want to stay in the playoff race. Hi, Lindros. I kind of assumed that when, when they said that it was Maple Leafs fan. No worries, Private Eye. Life comes first, my friend. I definitely am going to sleep after this. I got to get the kid to bed after the game, and it's going to be a long... He had a, he had a little bit of a nap. Oh, wow, what are you doing, Silly Bear? He's got to go back to school tomorrow, so... I bet, I bet. What? Life can come at you really quickly some days. You know. You know for me, I just... Life is really going to change next week, though, for sure. So for me, so it'll be it'll be kind of like it'll be kind of like the days, you know. I did see a little bit of it, but again, it didn't really get dark here, and I was up in my A store, so I didn't really see it. So you know, I'm really excited, obviously, to start this new job, but I'm also really nervous as always. But I think I've got the hang of it. So I guess I'd love to see Boston keep losing, but unfortunately Florida's winning against Ottawa, so that doesn't help me. <laughs> Again, the Leafs, I don't think the Leafs are going to leapfrog Florida. Um, so. Ah, you got all your Mario guys? Trent Winder, nice. I did. I did get the job. And I will start again next week. So... Um, I will be able to, I, I will be able to do the next two leave games on Thursday and Friday, on Thursday and Saturday, uh, but I don't know what other games I'll be able to do going forward after that. Um, again, my hours are really good in terms of the fact that I'm done, you know, at a decent time every night where I can get home and still have time to get myself situated and watch the game or do a live with you guys. So that might still happen. You know, I, I think I definitely still will be doing live. I don't know if I'll be able to do every single Leaf game, but like it'll pretty much be going back to what I was doing back between October and Jan and between the um, near the end of the Blue Jays uh, when the Blue Jays lost in the playoffs when I started doing this, you know, more on the regular back then all the way up until I got fired, um, you know, or, uh, you know, I got my job got eliminated. So it is. It is. And the hours are great. 10 to 6. So, you know, it's perfect because, one, the hours are perfect, especially starting in the fall. Because if, if I start at 10 o'clock, then I can go and, um, I can go and, um, yeah, it really is the best. Because, again, it, what's, what's going to happen is that I'm going to be able to take, in starting in September when my son goes to school, I will be able to take him to school in the morning drop him off and then go to work my wife picks him up and i get home you know like 6 20 6 15 or whatever depending on traffic because i'm not very far away from it um you know uh, what do you call it um you know i'll be able to get home and then like i said i'll be able to do a live every once in a while so it'll be really nice that's the best thing about it so yeah yeah, and the best and the best thing is again is, you know, the people there who I was talking to and stuff like that. They seem to have very similar interests and stuff like that. So I know they uh, they have a lot of they have a lot of very uh, when I was talking they have a lot of similar interests, which is really nice. So you know I'm really hoping or whatever that I get along with all the new people and stuff like that. I'm really excited. So 
Obviously, again, I'm nervous because it's always a new job and everything, but... Everything's fine, babe. Relax. And I'm always right. Man, my, Maddie's already getting 66 tonight. Oh, they're up three to one now. Nice. Thanks She's always worried about things, which is fine. Not like I'm giving people the address to it or the name of everything. <laughs> I, it's not even just that. It's, you know, you know, going back to work and stuff like that is going to be a lot of fun. You know, I mean, she'll, and I mean, hopefully, you know, everything will work out because, again, you know, she's going to have to take him, you know, to his school, his schooling stuff normally, because normally we would both go and drop him off together, you know, when, I, when I'm not, when I wasn't working, but now that I'm going to be starting to working, she's going to have to do it, so, you know, which is fine, again, like I said, the job hours are going to be great again, like I said, for the fall, when he goes to school, it's going to be perfect. What? You'll have to wait. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, my knees buckled. My knees buckled. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. I am. I just want Uh, 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 my nervous nelly of a wife. I love her. So. If the Leafs were one win away from the Stanley Cup, would you go to work? Oh, absolutely. Because my because again, my I would work perfectly because the game wouldn't start until seven o'clock. So I would be able to go to work and then go home and watch the game. So, again, the hours are perfect for watching sports now. That was the one issue that I, ha I hated, um, you know, on, uh, you know, my last job because it was like an open to close thing, which was fine because I got only had to work four days, but those three days off or whatever, you know, you know, were, were, were great and all. But anytime I wanted to do a Leaf game or anything else or whatever or anything, it'd be hard. So, yeah. Hopefully or whatever, he doesn't allow another one because, you know, I feel like nowadays if if a Leaf goaltender only gives up two goals, it's a win, it's a good night. Anything higher, even if if it's a win, is not a good night. So hopefully the Leafs can somehow keep this a four to two game. I mean, I did say the Leafs were going to win four to three, so I'm hoping I'm wrong for once. So you know, or at least wrong for a good reason. So. You doing okay there, bud? Wow, they pulled the goalie here with 3.20 to go. They're on the power play, so it's six on four. Well, let's see what happens. 
Get it out, Giordano. Whack it out. Nope. Kept in there by the Devils. Leafs can't keep get the puck out here. Come on, boys. Get it out. 25 seconds left on the power play. Nice save by Wool there. There's another shot. One went wide again. Wool might have got a piece of that one. Back around to the right side. There's a shot. And it's right in front again. Here's Nylander. Nylander's got an open net. Oh, shoot it, Nylander. Guys, they're wasting the last few seconds. And they finally dump it down the ice. And the power play comes to an end. Six on five now. Oh, that was almost too many men. Oh, Lee's got to get the puck out here. Come on, two minutes to go here. Get it out. Lee's trying to get the puck out. Come on, boys. Oh, and they missed the empty net. And it's an icing call. Oh, wait, nope. That's not icing? What? That was weird, but okay. Still six on five here with a minute 40 to go. Lee's trying to get the puck out. Devils have it behind the Leafs net, throwing it around, back to the far point, back onto the right side, throwing it towards the front, but it's blocked by McCabe. Leafs bouncing the puck out. Here's Marner. Marner with a long flip, goes towards the net. But he missed. A minute 20, and it's an icing. Yeah. New Jersey's got to somehow get two goals here in under two minutes. Here's Bertuzzi with a long shot. Scores! It's over! And that has eliminated the New Jersey Devils. I hear, well, they couldn't because of the icing. That's why. So, so. it would have been really nice if, if Marner hadn't iced the puck or whatever. So, uh, Andrew, the reason why we're on YouTube is because I got suspended on TikTok for a couple of days. So, because apparently watching WWE is gambling. So. Okay, we'll be back on TikTok for Thursday, though. Yeah, it was really nice to see them rolling. Hopefully, it'll continue. So. We'll be playing Florida. We'll be playing Florida. Florida is going to win tonight. That will put them again. Um, and if Boston does lose tonight against Carolina, which it looks like they are going to have that happen. So. I did. And I lost the appeal, so I'm still suspended. I sent them a support ticket asking for clarification, but I haven't heard anything back, obviously. So we've been doing YouTube or whatever for the last few days, and uh, again, my suspension ends tomorrow. So yeah, so, yeah I mean, if, if Panthers win tonight, they'll have 104 points. Toronto will have 101. And Boston and Florida, both with three games left, will have, again... Um, uh, we'll again have a chance or whatever to flip-flop depending on how that goes. Florida has a good chance for sure. I think Boston has a harder schedule uh, going forward. So the Leafs with a big win. Like I said, I've already I've already done everything. Like I said, hopefully I can. 
I'll hopefully be back again on uh, on Thursday or whatever. So there won't be any issue there. So. Leafs with a nice victory here, five to two. And finally, another game with a Leaf goaltender letting in two goals or less. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh, a $32 coupon. Very nice. I'll have to use that one time. I don't know. Just schedules suck. So, yeah. So, with that win, the Leafs again now with 101 points. Florida moves up to 102, 104, sorry, with their victory most likely happening again tonight against, um, against, uh, Ottawa. Um,. Yeah, so Florida won that one. Yeah, so that's that's going to give some crazy playoff implications. To tr I mean, there is a chance. There is a chance that Florida jumps over Boston because Boston has a schedule of Pittsburgh, Washington, and Ottawa. So if somehow Pittsburgh and Washington win those games and then Boston wins one of those games uh, against Ottawa, that would put the Ottawa, uh, Boston, sorry, at 109 points. Florida, now with 104, has, again, a much easier schedule. Columbus, Buffalo, and then they have to play Toronto. So that could be something as well. So, uh, on hockey.tv there, Andrew. It's probably the best one that you can find for the OHL. I can't, I can't, I know there's a lot of other websites, but, you know, I think on hockey is still the best one for that, so... OHL uh, playoffs or whatever have, I believe, I think Kitchener won tonight. I have to double check. So, nope, they're going into overtime. Wow. Yeah, the Knights still, I think the Knights will probably start playing on Thursday or Friday. Probably Thursday against whoever the winner of this. Oh, no, it won't be Thursday because, no, I think it'll be Friday or Saturday if they start their series. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, because again, the other, all the, London's the only team that's waiting to play somebody, you know? So we'll see what happens there. So London will either play Kitchener or Erie. Erie's got to win tonight to force game seven. Um, but all the other series are done, are set. Oshawa takes on the 67s. They, they knocked out, uh, the Bulldogs. The Sudbury Wolves knocked out Mississauga. They're playing the Battalion, who knocked out Kingston. And, uh, again, the Oslo Generals knocked out the Barry Colts. So, there we go. Either way, a nice big victory for the Leafs. And, again, like I said, we will be back again to uh, TikTok again starting on Thursday. So. We will see how well the rest of uh, the OHL plays out again. A uh, big win tonight again for Leafs. And now we're going to see again if uh, the Kitchener Rangers in the OHL can knock out, you know, can knock out uh, the, uh, the Erie Otters here. I'm going to see if I can try to find that game just to see how it ends. Uh, so. All right. So they're just about to go into overtime here, I think, because I don't think it started yet now. So either way, that is going to do it for this live stream tonight. Thank you guys for being a part of it. If you guys would like to watch the full live stream again, it will be up on YouTube later on tonight after processing and everything like that. Um, you know, thank you guys again so much for being a part of the live stream with me. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you can message me here on YouTube or again on TikTok. I will be back again. Uh, on Thursday for the next Leaf game against the Devils. So hopefully I will see you guys then. Have a wonderful night. Thanks so much for coming in. Take care now. Bye for now.